And I know they really wish we would fall till we fall on the big bad wolf as a full moon. Hey guys, it's Conspiker and welcome back to my channel. Today I have brought a tutorial on how to download Schematica on the 1.8 version. But if you guys are trying to get it on 1.7, 1.9, 1.10, blah blah blah, then you guys can use this tutorial. It will work, but just when I try to download a 1.8 mod file, try to get the 1.7 or what the version that you're trying to use. So um, let's get into it. But by the way, if you guys are trying to do the exact thing what I'm trying to do, then I'd recommend you guys follow exactly how I do it. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so now what you're gonna do, you're gonna open your web browser and you're gonna get these three links. I'll put these links in the description down below so you guys can just easily get into these websites than just searching it. So one is the um, Luna Trias Core. I don't know if I said that right. The Schematica, of course, and the Forge. So if you guys do already have Forge, then, um, well, too bad you're still watching how to get Forge. So you're going to get the 1.8 or what the version that you're trying to do, but I'm mainly going to say 1.8 because that's what this tutorial is for. So there's two recommended. I, I say recommended because it's a star and this is a half a star. I'm not sure if that's just what it, if it's just for design, you know. So if it's, um, yeah. So there's two installers. One is the installer Windows or the installer. If you guys do have Java, I recommend you guys get the installer one. But I mean, like they're both the same thing. Even so, installer Win is for people that do not have like Java or something that provides you to open it. So these are all like advertisements. So these Forge can like earn money, you know. So do not click on those. Those are viruses. Just skip it, and it should be downloading. I already have these downloaded like I was, I was trying to figure out how to download schematica and i figured out and i was like you know what if i get one i have to give you guys one so i'm gonna give i'm gonna show you guys how to do a tutorial so you guys so i can help someone that was in a problem in a situation like me which i was confused on how to get it you know i'm, I'm a nice guy <laughs> so what you're gonna do you're gonna double click on forge um the installer one now it should show you on this if it doesn't then um I honestly don't know what the heck to do you're gonna press ok let it load and now it's been installed I'm gonna take this install in the trash bag because I already have it in my um, versions on minecraft exit that out and let's see if I can run my um, version my forge let's get my minecraft up new profile let's call this forge 1.8 and now let's see if I can find it it should be on the bottom there it is so i already have other forges save profile and uh, yeah let's play it so what this does is make it so when you try to download a 1.8 forge mod like before you you have to always play it so like it's it's one of your like profile that you can play with so like it's kind of like optifine you guys know all right so i have no mods right now it's only says three three is our uh, average so i'm um, quit game and now you're gonna get these other mods so I'll, i'm just gonna put it on my uh, right side get the lunatrius core let's see press download by the way i'll put this like the script i'll put like the link in the description down below just so do not get confused put this in your desktop or let's make it a bit more far now open your schematica and then um download it um download um um, is this working boy refresh the page maybe all right so it's downloading let's wait two second one second and there it is keep and put it in your desktop now i have these two uh, mods those are all like those are probably the ones you need i'm gonna exit it out and check if it's 1.8 i mean it is probably 1.8 because um i checked it and you guys are probably clicking by the link i gave it to you guys percent now go on your percent update a percent there's three ways you can go to your percent update a percent one is on going going to your search bar over here percent update a percent the other way is how i just did it over here and another way is r right click on that press run and then go on percent update a percent and then press okay so you should find dot minecraft try to try to like find it if it's not in the right order but i like mine in order go on dot minecraft and you should see mods because you have forge and drag those two in there just like that exit it and what that 
what that just did is you just put that 1.8 mods into your 1.8 forge which now it works so um let's see if it worked um what, what the, where the heck all right there it is play um honestly if this didn't work well um screw this tutorial but um i'm pretty sure it did so let's load wait it should say i have five mods now three is the average and then two more yes it does say five mods so i can tell by over here that means um i'm pretty sure it worked you can also add like other mods you can add, add like in like as much as mods as you want um let me go on this one i have a lot of worlds so yeah this is how, this is what a world downloaded it and now i'm just gonna create a simple 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 s how about that so what you're gonna do you, you can go on your options controls and then there's these different type of schematica that tells you what to do so i know this one the divide button is on your right side of your keyboard and it should it should be right above the eight and then the subtract one should be right above the plus and then the multiply is right above the nine so if you guys do see that um well good so you're gonna press press the divide button so i already have all these like are these cannons i'm gonna press the times it's where your red point and blue point is so you want to copy the chunks that's in the middle sorry if my mic was a bit bad right there like i just like touched i'd like punched it accidentally now i'm gonna put press the minus one and this shows me how much i can move it to and if i want to print it means like it automatically like plates it for me and unload it and like show move flip rotate and like where it wants to head out and yeah so let's let's actually just do a fast fast um all right wait after you press show here so I have, um i'm sorry you have to press on over here to see if there's anything on so um all right so i think the blue point is way over there it just like automatically just sets it unless you didn't set it my bad multiply and then blue point all right so this green th box is to show where the what what what, co what chunk it copies i can pull it up and make it down so it's it's schematica is pretty cool you know i'm just gonna since i have ocd i'm just gonna let it at the right spot there it is i press and and if you guys think that's good enough like this is good enough for an s now go on you can you can save it but you want a name so i'm just gonna press s then save so that means when i press time uh, the multiply button i have an s i can press done and then there's my blueprint i can either place it so or i can either turn on um the printer but the what the printer needs it needs some blocks to start it off with as you guys just saw like that and you can also and then if you're done with it you can press or if you're not done with it you can just press hide and just make it so there's no there's nothing like that there's no like what's that called like those lines which might distract you you can unload if you're not done or if you do not if you want to cancel it here let's set another one right here press done so you can also rotate it um you can wait where is it flip no, rotate there you can also rotate it which direction you want to build your like s or your your thingy you can also flip it so flip because it's just an ordinary s just a regular s the flip it it looks the same but it, it if you flip it, it looks really cool on a cannon but don't do it you know you know what's gonna happen and you can hide it um and then uh printer on you can also check the materials which is left which like shows what you like how many blocks that wasn't placed sometimes it glitches but it's 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 always worth and uh yeah i'm gonna press unload so that's about the basics of schematica so i hope you guys have enjoyed and if you guys did please click that like button down below subscribe do anything to support me and uh, yeah peace